And we are back for all the fanboys and fangirls out there of Apple. Uh, this is the moment you've been waiting for, perhaps the 4S coming out later this morning. But is it right for everyone? Dylan, Dylan Stewart is the Mac Whisperer. He joins us uh, live uh, here in studio this morning with reasons maybe you may want to wait and reasons maybe you want to go get it. Good morning to you. Morning to you. A lot of hype when that uh, news conference was going on. It was the first one without Steve Jobs and people were thinking, is it the five that much people have been anticipating? And then we hear it's the 4S. Was there a letdown there, or is it, I mean, obviously people are excited by it. Well, you know, it's a big, it's a big surprise because right off the bat, it did feel like a bit of a letdown to the people who watch it, and I don't know if part of that was missing Steve Jobs and mm -hmm. Tim Cook being a little more of a dry presenter, or whether it was the fact that everyone's waiting for the five now. Whether it's called the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 5, this is the fifth iPhone that's being released, and it's you know. What's in a name, right. really? Uh, in spite of the disappointment initially, we're looking at a million pre-sold uh, units within the first 12 hours. That's mm -hmm. a record-breaking number, so the disappointment isn't too bad. Which is, but other people are noting, it's because possibly, you know, you're getting it on so many different carriers nowadays. Before, it used to be just AT&T, so it was limited the customer base. Now, it's available to Verizon and a whole host of other folks. And, yeah, Sprint yeah. as well. And Sprint as well. Let's talk about some of the reasons to purchase it. Let's talk about the upgrades that are in this new phone. Absolutely. Well, the most obvious upgrade great is that it's got a fantastic new 8 megapixel camera. They did mm -hmm. a lot of talking about how that technology has really improved. The flash has improved. It takes amazing, great 1080p pictures. Wow. Uh, also, new antenna. Does that give you better mm -hmm. reception? And they were talking about the death grip if you had your hand out the wrong this way. Is, this is going to avoid the death grip. It's got two antennas that actually switch between one or the other depending on if one of them is blocked. One is used for sending. One is used for receiving. That should avoid that issue 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, more memory? A lot more memory, going from 32 gigs to 64 gigs. Uh, for people that carry a lot of music, a lot of movies, a lot of documents, this is going to really help them out a lot. And a lot of people have been talking about this voice-activated thing. Is it really, I mean, so you can say, turn on MP3, I want to hear Limp Bizkit, or whatever it is, right? Well, you know, voice activation has been around for a long time, and it's been consistently disappointing. But what I've heard from all of the early reviewers that are, have their hands on the iPhone 4S is this is straight out of science fiction. Unlike normal voice activation, where you have to say the specific things that you've been program mm -hmm. what time is it you can speak normally they say it's more like a conversation and it's as simple as saying uh, what you know what a uh, theater is playing this movie tonight and it'll bring up a list of wow. theaters uh -huh. uh, amazing stuff of course and you were mentioning too it's available ATT Sprint and Verizon Reasons that you may want to wait, including uh, you can't get the 4G speeds on this new phone. Well, one of the big things, the reason the carriers is a relevant conversation is because AT&T's speed will allow you to get 14 megabyte per second downloads, and Verizon and Sprint have a slower network. Their 4G network isn't able to take advantage of this iPhone. So. Okay, and also it looks just like the iPhone that you have in your pocket right now right. if you already have the 4, mm -hmm. which might be another reason to wait if you've already got it. Well, I think a lot of people like to have the latest, greatest, and they like all their friends to know they've got the new phone. There'll be a difference here. People won't be noticing the way the phone looks. They'll be noticing you talking to your phone and ordering movie tickets. Uh -huh. and they'll be like, oh, you must have the 4S. Right. right. You couldn't tell if you looked at the two phones. No, the two similar. phones are identical. And, and the iPhone 5, that's another reason possibly to wait because it's coming out possibly next summer, they say? Well, the reason the iPhone 4S is not the iPhone 5 is because people that have the iPhone 4 don't have an upgrade till next July. Mm. And so the iPhone 4S is really for the people who had the 3G, the 3G or maybe an Android or BlackBerry. The iPhone 4 users, they may have to wait until the next uh, iteration in July. So your bottom line advice, if you've got the 4, wait for the 5 next summer, but if you've got the 3 maybe, go out and get something new now. Absolutely. The only difference I would say is if the voice activation gets you excited, that's mm -hmm. a reason to go out there and buy. All right. That's the bottom line. Uh, and so much information out there. Thank you so much for helping us wade through it. It's interesting stuff. We're going to have to see the lines. We're going to go out there and actually shoot some video this morning. Fantastic. Thanks for coming in this morning. If anybody needs to get any more information from me, they can uh, look me up at itwithiq.com or they can shoot an email to Dylan at the macwhisperer.net. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for your time. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back.